Hello my friends! It's episode 90! Would you believe we did 90 of these? Would you believe... They put a man on the moon... No wait. <laughs> you better believe that. You better believe that. I don't want... Alright, any... The moon is a hoax. People watching my content, okay? <laughs> Wow, I just saw another faction there that I haven't seen before. Oh boy. Okay. Backdoor man. Let's go. Let's go to Backdoor Man. That, uh... <laughs> I just... <laughs> uh, that's, that's a bit of a euphemism in the UK, so, you know. I've got the financial report. Has got the financial report. Oh, another 60 glorious days of travel. <laughs> Couldn't you just have given us the Argo by now? Come on. If you're gonna, like, open up the universe and make us fly across it, could you, can, you, can we at least, at least get the engine buffs? Please. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking in between episodes, like, we got that ominous message that was like, oh, you're going to have to use light mechs in the future, or lighter mechs. We didn't say light mechs specifically, it just said that, that the rim prefers lighter and faster mechs. But lighter and faster than what? And I was just thinking, you know, this is another point where you should just give us the Argo. Because then surely we can just... Um... Build a Light Lance in the second mech bay. Because, you know, what if you guess wrong? I mean, I, I mean, to be fair, the most powerful thing that you can do is to just shove... A lot of fire stars in your team, but I have no pilot room to make ace pilots, so I'm not gonna have the correct pilot for light mech work. So funny that they're only 81,000 and yet. I honestly should go and buy that. New flashpoint added in the Cooper Town system. Okay. Where is Cooper Town? I thought it was in the rim somewhere. Oh. A country too far.
That also looks like a new flashpoint. And it's much closer. Calculating course now, Commander. Okay, so this is the point where, since flashpoints have unlocked any, like, non-story, but just random Hades Rim flashpoints start appearing. Well, we've got a couple that I've definitely not seen before, so... I'm looking for a Phoenix Hawk 1 P piece. Or the Atlas 2 piece. Or a Defense Gyro. I still need one more until I've got a full set. Wow, the travel time to this planet is like 15 days. I think the longest travel time for any planet report for you, Commander? in vanilla is 9 days. So there's obviously been, you know, some desire to make travel times as long as possible. For whatever reason. Well, it's a fire starter I have one piece of, but it's not the one I'm looking for. Sure, why not? New weapon systems available. New weapon systems available. All right, let's go. I wonder if this is going to be a far country reference. What about Bob? Cat people are an urban legend dating back to the Star League. I mean... I saw the pictures, man. Oh well, five he. I think I was meant to be she. I think that was supposed to be uh, that was supposed to be Bob, but instead Darius is speaking. Yeah. 
You know Far Country? Okay, we are literally talking about the book now. Okay, for some reason, the bits where Bob is supposed to be speaking are spoken by whoever he was talking to. Which makes this dialogue incredibly confusing to follow. Now you have to guess whether it's the person he's talking to or him each time. Okay. There we go. Hey, it's Big and Scary Max. Oh, did I really forget to fix this? Where's the damage? Okay, like we lost 3 HP on one bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm dropping with 3 HP less than I could have had. The whole question of who framed Bob will be answered, comma, although we might also be dealing with simple pirates here. the dreaded ECM. I'm your spaniel. I got you. Acknowledge. Copy that. Target is within sensor range. Concentrate your fire, bring it down. Something on sensors. This is actually a relatively difficult convoy denial because there's a road that leads directly to the denial zone and it's not far. So you can lose your grip on this on this mission. This is one of the normal contracts. Especially if you didn't bring jump capable mechs. Then you actually have a fair bit of uh, waddling to do up the hill. If you make the mistake of going around, by the time you go around, these, ve these vehicles will be like here.
Yellow bird. Is this a huge I'm here. group of cicadas? On the move, full speed. Okay. It's a load of cicadas. Waiting for orders. For some inexplicable reason. Firing all weapons. Primary target is taking damage. Frag the vehicle. I don't know what I can do about this. If it doesn't shoot. Confirm. Lift it off. survived somehow we really spread the damage around there oh hell yes it's on now might be able to just go ahead and stand on that So good. Damage. I don't know how these cicadas are managing to fit. Well, two medium coils, I suppose. Just one small coil. It's reasonable. But this one has a large and three small. That's a lot of coils for a friggin' mech with that tonnage. Good to go. Here we go. See ya. Mech destroyed. Well, he ain't doing much with a broken leg. Lol. Lol. Reading you. Copy that. I need to reposition to intercept that. Ready to rock. Break a leg. Critical hit! 
I await your command. Is some pretty mental range for machine guns to go. There must be something cheaty about those machine guns. Minor, Commander. Increases the attack range of support re weapons by 90 meters. Well then, that answers that question, doesn't it? Okay, the pack rat support vehicle has been revealed. System's holding. Yes, Commander. Ninety-five percent chance to make the magic happen. Sounds reasonable Location to me. Location confirmed. Ha! Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. He literally just walked into that. meters is a huge range boost to give support weapons. I mean, your average support weapon has only got, I think it is 90 meters range, or it might be 60. Or it might depend on the weapon. I think it's 90. It's like three hexes, so 90. And you're doubling it. Sixty-five. I can't stand on him. I'm walking here. Yo, I'm walking here. Cry havoc. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. How's it going? No, oh, I don't think you're going to survive this, turkeys. Don't think you're going to survive this encounter, my insane turkey friends. Man, that guy drew the short straw. He gets one small weapon. Show him what you got. Try aiming next time, see what you get. Weirdly, he did not have any more armor than the people who were way more heavily armed. Right here. Ten four. Right, I think this mission is over. Fire all weapons. That's a 
Good kill. Mission successful. Interesting. The pack rat obviously is a pain in the ass to deal with. You gotta be in front of it so it fires. And you also have to position yourself perfectly so that you're near enough to melee it. Although I could have shot it too, but... Oh man. Look at all those sweet machine guns. Of course the mechs are blacklisted, uh, so... Must have forgotten to blacklist the machine guns. Although, I mean, it's a standard weapon, so I suppose you couldn't blacklist it, really. In case you didn't know, there's something you can do in the files to things. You can blacklist them, which means that they won't be salvageable. But uh, whether they're purchasable or not is a separate property. So you can blacklist things so that they can never be salvaged, but you could still sell them at stores, potentially. Death by Cicada Swarm. What? What? Of course the cicadas are the Far Country Chickens, aren't they? It's a Far Country Chickens reference, isn't it? Because of course it is. <laughs> so, like you know, uh, uh, I guess on a on a BattleTech nerdy level, it's uh, it's pretty funny. I guess the bug in the plot of the first bit though was kind of off-putting. Look, it's this map. Affirmative, Commander. Rolling. On my way. You got it. Acknowledged. This is Moving usually on. a very easy map because all the defenders are here and you can just kill them all. I got you. Onward. And you have this great position from which to do so. Heading out. Wow, that is an actual turkey. They're all turkeys. The battle music starts and I'm like, hmm. Yes, Commander. Engaging jump jet. Look at this, they're all in a neat little row. Firing the full power. 
Which means I can stray shot the crap out of them. Some heavy damage. <laughs> I aimed at the one at the back, and all the shots that missed went flying into the one at the front. I'm ready. Because the ducks are all in a neat little row. This just in. Critical hit. Confirmed. Roger that, Commander. Boom. Commander? Rolling. Ten boys. Reporting critical. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Um, well. What do I even say here? What do I even say? Barely hit, Commander. What do you even say? Man, that was actually a good bit of focus fire there. By. Copy that, Commander. Here we go. No stray shots there. I'm your spaniel. Sad times. On the way. And here he That's a kill. How's it going? Acknowledged. Roger that. Reporting. Critical hit. Okay. Standing by. I'm there. In the face. Mech destroy. It's go time. These guys are like. You know, it's kind of funny hearing normal combat voices during a mission as trivial as this. I think they'd be like laughing and joking around. Waiting for orders. Rolling. Kick him in the face! Engaging! Commander. Locked on for physical attack. Oh, the pilot died. Enemy down. That doesn't happen every day. I'm walking here. I'm there. On it. It's not every day the pilot of a turkey dies. Ten four. Moving to position. Coordinates received. The asset has been secured and is ready for what? retrieval. What? Is that it? That was the bit where I was expecting enemies to drop on the cliffs and... Uh, what? This mission, I guess, used to have a weight limit or something.
you probably had to do it with lights. Although, let me tell you, like, four properly built fire starters would absolutely pummel their way through this faster than my current lance would. I mean, for a start, fire starters with their, like, if you built them with two, you can build them with, like, 225 melee damage would literally one shot a cicada through the front without any real difficulty that mech you didn't want is cleared for fighting <laughs> uh. But why? <laughs> but why? Ready to fight, Commander. It could be a successful scout or a diversion. Or a punch bot. Okay. Well, we're out of time, but there's one more mission, and it's attack and defend, of all things. So, are we going to see lance after lance after lance of cicadas being dropped? You know, I'm not one for uh, for weight limits on missions, but this one probably could have done with one. Well, I guess the only reason why I'm not for weight, li weight limits on missions is because, you know, a 35 ton light is one of the most dangerous things in the game. So you're potentially making things easier for yourself, but anyway. Um... I guess if you could have a weight limit that was like, you know, that forced you to bring mediums. But even then, the Phoenix uh, 1B in the medium bracket can be just as deadly as a Firestarter. Maybe just slightly less deadly, but still very deadly. Um, yeah. Okay, alright. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.